Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I'm going to have a go in a short while, and I'll probably jump back in on the video at perhaps grafting onto a couple of my avocado seedlings, which I want to grow as hopefully to use as root stocks. So um, I haven't got what I would call decent grafting equipment like some people use. Um, I haven't got a proper grafting knife. I'm just going to use this knife here which is sharp. I've got some secateurs, scissors, uh, a fresh scalpel blade which should be sharp for sort of more detailed cutting. Um, I've got uh, a grafting tape. It's not, not a buddy tape. It doesn't stretch as nicely so I'll have to keep an eye on it because I don't think it biodegrades either and of course I've got 99.9% uh, .9 alcohol and some uh, kitchen roll and typically enough the wind's coming up now um, I've already sterilised all of these cutting things with some uh, with the rubbing alcohol and obviously each time I handle a different uh, scion I will try to, uh, I will re-sterilise them and uh, I've sterilised my hands as well. I'll, I'll try to handle the cuttings as little as possible and I've cleaned the glass surface here with alcohol so it would have got rid of most of the germs and bacteria. All I've got to do is decide which, um, decide how I'm going to use the scions and what I'm going to try and graft them to basically. So uh, I just thought I'd film that bit and then when I prepare the scions I hope I will um, film a little bit of that as well well I've tried to first graft now these scions unfortunately have got flower buds on them not growth buds but um, if they take obviously I'd expect the flower buds to fall off and be replaced at a later stage by growth buds it's a pretty horrible looking graph to be honest and I would think the odds of it taking especially at this time the year will be almost zero um, now if there are any avocado grafting experts watching uh, Jeff I'm thinking of um, Jeff should I remove all the leaves on this or do I need to leave the leaves as it's a young plant to give uh, to give the plant energy bearing in mind I'm doing this in February so it's not the best time of year to be doing them because they're not actively growing um, I'm not expecting the graft to take but it doesn't really matter if it doesn't because I'll still have a, a rootstock plant which I can grow on obviously I know I need to remove side branches if by some miracle this takes but I don't know if I should remove these leaves or or leave them on so um, perhaps someone watching who's a bit of an, e an avocado grafting expert might better tell me I'm just going to pause the video and carry on with the next one now this is the second one now I've decided to do this one very low down on a sickly seedling because I think the scion's so small I don't think there's any chance of it taking now in actual fact the scion is slightly wider than the rootstock so I've got one side of the uh, graft flush and the other side protrude so if there's any chance of at all of it taking it will basically um, it will grow it will take on one side but not on the other because that side doesn't line up with the bark but I'm not expecting anything to come of it but um, it, it seems because it was so small it was a very small sign I thought it might be better just to uh, try and uh, put it on here like this and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not, as I said, I'm not expecting this to take. Um, this does uh, is not the healthiest <laughs> root stock, which isn't going to help matters. But it was just starting to grow at the top again, which means it had some activity in the roots. But I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose. I'll just try it and see um, if it happens to take. And this starts to grow, then all well and good. I'm going to cover it with a. Uh, a little bit of polythene anyway and we'll see what happens so I'll be back to you in the next uh, part of this video and finally I decided to try and graft as I had mentioned in a previous video a small shoot off my Mexicola um, so what I've done is taken the top off my one of my bacon two bacon avocados and I've tried to graft on about a three inch scion from the Mexicola, I've wrapped it and I'm also putting a polythene bag over it because it's going to be in the kitchen and I want to try and uh, keep it, uh, keep some humidity on it and that basically leaves me with the last shoot 
that I've got here. Now I haven't got any plants with big enough stems to actually graft this onto, so just for fun, even though it's impossible, I've decided to uh, try and root this. Um, I know it's likely to 99% chance it'll fail. Um, very, very hard to root avocado cuttings of any sort, but as I've got no um, as I've got no real use for this scion otherwise, because I've got no plants big enough to graft it onto, I might as well um, have a go. And I'm just going to try rooting it in perlite and just see if by some miracle it roots. I take a long time to root normally if they succeed, sort of three or four months, but um, it'll most likely turn black and rot, but no harm trying, is there? So thanks for watching that video about my um, few uh, initial attempts at uh, grafting avocados which I've never done before obviously will um, I'm, I'm not expecting any of them to take whatsoever but if one was to take I'd be absolutely delighted but we'll we'll see what happens over the next two or three months and I'll come back to them should there be any signs of success at all look at all the flower buds on this thanks for watching the video please give me a thumbs up obviously uh, subscribe to my channel share the video I think anyone will be interested uh, please do comment and uh, give me a thumbs up and remember to click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out which will of course include updates on possibly these avocado, avocado scions should any of them take. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.